This example demonstrates how the Commotion CNC screen editor can be used to create a G-code variable diagnostic watch tab. This is the example dual pane three axis split screen where we have added one extra button to open a new screen with the variable watch tab. Clicking the button brings up another screen that includes the watch tab. The watch tab displays G-code variables one through six. When stepping through the G-code, we can see that the variables update immediately. Here we call a subroutine one million times where the subroutine increments variable number one. This allows us to see that we can dis monitor and display G-code variables while G-code is running. Notice here, variable one is counting. The final value is one million. This screen also includes a button to switch back to the original screen without the tab. We now show how this is accomplished. Let's bring up the screen editor. Loading the original screen, dual pane three axis split. We can see that the one button has been added that brings up the new screen. The new screen is called dual plane three axis split bears dot screen. Opening that screen, first of all, it has a larger width to accomplish, to accommodate the tab. And it has these additional cells. The important cells are these six cells which are all DRO label cells that have various variables associated with them. The first one's 160, second one 161, and so on. The rest are just labels. These labels here are simple labels here and the title here is a simple label here. The button here is what brings up the original screen dual pane three axis split without the tab. A C program running in KFLOP is what puts it all together. Let's take a look at that. Examples called G code VARs to DROs, and it consists of a main loop that updates the DROs on the screen every approximately every half of a second by calling this function. The first step is to request six variables from commotion CNC and store them into persist variables, temporary persist variables, starting with number 10. And then we loop through all six variables and format the, the values. First we get it from the persist variable, then we format it as a floating point number with 11 places and three decimals. And then we write it out to the appropriate DRO label. We need a space in the uh, gather buffer to put the string that needs to be unique 
for each of the variables. So here we just use locations 1000, 1050, 1100, and so on. And that's all it takes to update the DROs. We hope you found this example helpful. That's it.